Hello and welcome to Mystic Mia Tarot. This is a Pisces collective reading and it is timeless. Whenever you come to this is the perfect time for you to hear the messages. The artwork in the frame is original. If interested, please see information in the description box. That is a great white egret. And if this reading resonates, please like, share, comment, subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. All right, so I've already pre-shuffled a couple of different decks and laid, a, laid out a Celtic cross. Um, just so you know, I am planning to change it up after this reading. Um, starting with Aries, uh, I'm going to be experimenting with some different card layouts, but um, I figured I would just finish off the Zodiac Wheel um, in the same style that I have been doing. But stay tuned for new formations. Exciting. And um, so I pulled a card to represent the person currently on your mind and uh, their possible astro sign. And I pulled the Temperance card. This also sets the tone for the reading. Temperance is the card of Sagittarius. So you may be dealing with a Sagittarius or someone with Sag in their chart. Temperance um, is a card of patience, moderation, balance. Perhaps uh, this is what you're feeling right now, Pisces. You're feeling balanced. You're feeling temperate and moderate. And you feel like uh, you're being watched over by the angels. Perhaps your person is, is um, feeling that way, conversely, or in addition to you. In your present position on the Celtic cross, you do have the Two of Cups. So, are you in love, Pisces? <laughs> Perhaps you are. This is the astro sign Cancer, could be dealing with a Cancer. Uh, that would be an auspicious match, two water signs. I feel like water signs get each, each other. Um, I mean, water signs are just magical people in general, especially Pisces. Uh, Pisces are, I don't know. I just interacted with a, a Pisces and I felt... Uh, so, so known by him. Anyway, you have the two of cups. Maybe you feel known by your person. Um, this is representing partnership, attraction, and relationship. Maybe things are going well for you right now, Pisces. You are being crossed by cooperation, sense of teamwork, um, and did I say the name of the card? I don't even remember. I'm a little bit, a little dazed. Um, the Three of Pentacles is the card crossing. Card of Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. This is collaboration and learning. So maybe um, you're feeling like you and your person are in actually in a good place right now. And there's cooperation and um, collaboration going on. You are crowned by the Four of Cups reversed, which is a missed opportunity card or aloofness. So there could be um, some, some rejection um, coming from your partner. This card is uh, of Cancer, card of Cancer. Again, got a repeating sign. And this, this person could be um, rejecting you in some way, um, being aloof in spite of your feelings of love and cooperation towards them. It's like the, the universe is handing this person a cup and they're rejecting it. In the distant past, you have the Six of Cups, a soulmate connection, card of Scorpio. So there could be um, a feeling of soulmates here, uh, maybe even feeling like 
when you're together, there's like this childish um, enthusiasm. There are two children pictured on the card. Children may also be a factor in your relationship situation. And there could be a, a feeling of nostalgia when it comes to this person. Like you've known them from another life, which is like the whole idea of soulmates, right? It's like you, the reason you're so comfortable so quickly is because you've known them before. Your souls have known each other in another life. In the recent past, you have the three of cups in reverse, another three card. Uh, we do have two, three, four, and six of cups. There's a lot of love in this reading so far, um, and also progression. This card happens to represent uh, a possible affair or third-party situation. It is the card of cancer, so you have another cancer card. Um, there could be more than just you and this person involved. It could be that you have a third party, or they do, or you both do. This card also has apples and pumpkins. I don't know. I just noticed that. Maybe there's a, a bit of temptation when it comes to this person, like like Eve and the apple. Um, and as far as the pumpkins, um, maybe you met this person in, in the fall. In the future position, you have the strength card, which is... Um, you know, indicating just what it means, you know, strength, like there's um, a strong bond between you and this person, there's strength, there's, um, pers you know, there's, what's the word? Um, longevity is, is indicated when you get this card. Um, it is a card of Leo. And, uh, this also can indicate courage and patience. So maybe, um, you know, with that four of cups reversed, there could be um, some rejection coming from your person right now. But with the strength card in the future position, it's like, despite obstacles, uh, there could be, you know, persistence through those obstacles. And in the environment, you do have the Eight of Wands, which is a card of incoming communication. Um, action, speed, also like some fire. Uh, so there could be some passion between you and this person. In addition to the, the cups of love that we've already seen. Uh, this, this card is also like the arrows of love coming in. And so perhaps, you know, there's going to be a break in, in this, um, this period of, of silence between you, if there has been, because you do have the four of swords as how you're being seen by your person. And this is like a card of a timeout, um, also a time of rest. It's a card of Libra. We did have a Sagittarius card as well. So maybe they're seeing you as taking a time out. Uh, a, you're, or they may be contemplating this relationship. They may be resting and recuperating. And they may be um, seeing you as being passive um, during this time. In your hopes or fear position, you do have the two of pentacles reverse. Uh, so I see this card as like, maybe you're, you're fearing that this person is refusing to choose um, between you and someone else, perhaps, or just refusing to choose whether or not to be with you. It can also indicate someone juggling more than one. Maybe you fear that there's somebody else involved. This is a card of Capricorn. And your outcome card, you have the world reverse. So this could be uh, revisiting a cycle due to a lack of closure or a lack of completion. 
maybe you thought this cycle was over, but in actuality, um, it is not. And you have another round. You have another go round. We'll get some clarification. I'm going to use the Zodiac Tarot to clarify. We're going to get into the mind of your person. We're going to see what they are thinking about you right now. We're going to see what you're thinking about them. And then we're going to see the uh, outcome of this cycle. I already mentioned all the signs on the table. It could be any sign. Did see a lot of Capricorn, I'm sorry, Cancer. We did see a lot of Cancer and we did see a lot of Sagittarius. And you know, the Sagittarius card is crowning the reading. Some of my favorite writers are Pisceans, Alice Hoffman and John Updike. We're going to do a little bibliomancy in a moment. Um, and we'll use a, a, a novel by Alice Hoffman to do that. So the way your uh, person sees you is, they see you as your wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. It's a beautiful deck. And uh, conversely, like, yes, they may see you as, as their wish fulfillment, but they could also feel content on their own um, with all their cups around them, um, sort of contented uh, as a single person. So they may be struggling between, you know, choosing you or the single life. And because they do have the two of wands, which is um, trying to make a choice between two. They also have the six of wands uh, in reverse, which is, um, you know, they may feel a, a sense of failure when it comes to you. Um, they, they may also feel like you don't understand them. This is like a, a recognition card. So maybe they feel like you don't understand them. You don't recognize who they are. And, um, but you see that like they have like equal parts love and passion for you with nine cups and eight wands. And then how you see them is the Ten of Pentacles, which is a card of commitment. Like you, you're you committed to this person. You're committed to like an abundant life with them, right? complete with a baby, um, you know, or, you know, living that like married life. But you also see them as a player with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Uh, so you see them as like this person who has in and out energy, who's refusing to make a choice, who wants to keep their options open. And you also see them as the sun in reverse. So you see them as like this radiant being, but like someone who whose radiance kind of is hidden behind the clouds right now. And um, it's causing you some unhappiness. And the outcome, you have the chariot reversed, the full reversed, and the eight of swords reversed. So you feel like there's all this momentum um, that suddenly has come to a stop. Uh and there's a failure to take a leap of faith with the full in reverse. There's some naivety. Maybe you're feeling naive. You know, when we started the reading with the two of cups, it's like you're in love, you know, with your soulmate. You had the six of cups as well. Um, maybe there's some naivete uh, included here. 
and the eight of swords in reverse. So maybe you're releasing yourself from a self-imposed prison. Um, so this could be taken in more than one way. You know, it could be you releasing yourself from this fantasy and like letting this person go or you know it could be that they are releasing themselves and allowing themselves to be in this relationship with you and choose you choose commitment um Let's do a little bibliomancy to clarify what the outcome is. Like I said, I am going to use the book by Alice Hoffman. It's called Green Witch. <laughs> and uh, I'll, open, I'll open randomly to a page. And uh, it's interesting. I have a couple of uh, items tucked into this book. And they're from when I went to Florida. And this bird, we definitely saw this, this type of bird in Florida, my daughter and I. So anyway, um, please quiet your mind, Pisces, and think of a question that you may have regarding this person. And we will ask spirit. I stick out my tongue to test him, but the toll taker just keeps waving, friendly as ever. Troy and I laugh. Clearly that man can't see a thing. There is, a, it, there is the road off to the side, one you might walk right by if you weren't searching for something. We stop laughing. The witch's road is lined with dead things, brambles, black trees, stalks, of belladonna and hazel and thorn apple, skeletons of mice and raccoons and rabbits that were burned alive. These fields suffered from some of the worst of the fires. After all this time, the soil is still hot. I am grateful I decided to wear my boots. I put onion into the mesh bag and carry him so he won't burn his paws. So, hopefully that gave you a little more clarification. I pulled a card to represent the person on your mind, what they might look like, who they might resemble, what traits they might have. And the card I pulled from my Celebrity Love Oracle deck is Bianca Del Rio. And I believe this is a famous drag queen. So maybe your person is androgynous. Uh, perhaps, you know, they may, um, you know, be, have a gender neutral uh, identity. Uh, perhaps they, if they're a woman or a man, <laughs> they like to wear makeup. Um, and someone who's romantic in this bed of rose petals and someone who's kind of happy, but almost manically happy from the look on that person's face. The card itself says a unicorn is a horse with extra potential. True love is clearly illegal in most states. And everyone needs that special someone who can stroke your hair while you cough with your head in the toilet. Hopefully that resonated in some way, Pisces. I'm going to finish off this reading by asking a yes or no question to spirit using my not so, Christy, not so trusty crystal ball crystal. And um, sometimes she won't answer on the first try, so we'll, we'll ask a couple of times. I am wearing a mood ring. And my mood right now is green, which is calm and comfortable. Hopefully that's how you're feeling, Pisces. I hope this reading um, 
has resonated for you. If it does, please like, share, comment, subscribe. If interested in the Great White Egret painting, please see info in the description box. And um, let's ask that question. It is certain. Okay, Pisces, thanks for being here and I'll see you again next time. And um, yeah, like I said, look out for the new style reading that's coming. Um, it will take a little while before you get your, your reading because I just ended with Pisces. And I have 11 more to go before I return to you. But in any case, I hope... Um, your life is magical, full of wonder and love and light, and may the source be with you.